Hi everyone, it's Veronica, and I am here with episode 11 of Case It Card Series. Episode 11. And uh, just to let you know, this will be the final episode for my series. I would first of all like to thank each and every one of you who followed the series, those that left comments, and those who participated by casing pins they, that they had on their Pinterest boards. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate all of you so very much. All right. Um, for today's cased cards, I pulled out some of my most underused tools, and that would be border punches. And you see before you a card that I've created using border punches. So um, do know that they, for those of you that are new, that they do add another level of dimension to your creations. So let's just jump right in because I used quite a few punches. I didn't have a lot of pins um, that I had saved on my board using the border punches. So I almost created, a, <laughs> cased all of them. So anyway... Let's just get started. So this first card, what I'm going to do is show you the card and then show you um, what I use to create the card. So these are the Martha Stewart. Let me move the card for a second. The Martha Stewart uh, punch around the page. So you have the punch that makes the long edge and then the corner punch. Now you don't always have to use these together. And I know, again, uh, most of you already know this, but there could be some new subscribers that don't. Um, you can use this piece alone or even this piece alone, just depending on what you want to do. But I did use them together. And I also used um, an embossing folder, the Cuddlebug Happy Birthday. Let's see. Oop, that didn't help. Okay, the Cuddlebug Happy Birthday and Elizabeth Crafts Four Bows. So I used this one, th this set right here. Okay, let me move that and put the card back so you can see it. This is a five by five card. And basically this was just a lot of layering but I thought it turned out super cute. And I do have to confess, I had never used these punches. I have Martha Stewart border punches, let me tell you, and uh, they just have been sitting. And we know these are from way back. But I thought this turned out really cute. This is the Elizabeth Crafts bow. I didn't want a lot of bulk added, so that's why I used that flat bow. And just... Um, Kind of popped it up just a smidgen. And that's the inside. I didn't add another um, mat to this side. Sometimes I do. But I didn't this time because the front is kind of top heavy. So I left that one like it was. All right. And then for the next card, I used... Um, where is it? Oh, here it is. This deep edge punch. And the way I store these punches, I have a shoe bag, an over the door shoe bag, and these fit in there pretty well. They can actually go straight in, so that works out. But I use this one and um, I failed to put the name on it, so I do apologize. Some I have the names on, others I don't. But this is the one that I use for this upcoming card. I also used the Martha Stewart bow punch. This is one big punch. I use some want to scrap bling. Close to my heart, baby pink ink. And this embossing folder, this is called Leafy Branch. Okay. And this is the card that I cased for that one. And if you recall, at the beginning of the video, I show you the original card, and then at the end, you will see photos of uh, my cards. 
but this is the card that I cased for that one and I thought it was super, super adorable. This is an A2 size and this paper is from years ago. It's Recollections paper, one of their little spring collections. And that is the inside. So that is the second card. For the next one, I used, uh, okay, I call myself having these things in order. Yes. Okay, this is the punch that I use, and it does have a corner punch, but I didn't use the corner. Um, I use this piece from this online die. My Creative Time flower die. Elizabeth Crafts layered leaves. And this Want to Scrap Bling. And this is the card that I cased using those pieces. I thought that turned out really cute. And this was some uh, paper, of course, that I had in my stash. Uh, I want to say it's DCWV. I just cannot recall, but I just layered the flowers. The online one is peeking out. And this is the My Creative Time and the inside. All right, and for the next one, and please excuse my reach, but that was really bothering me. Okay, for the next one, I used, um, and I have not put any sentiments inside because I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet. But this is an EK Success Punch that I used. This is a paper tray ink stamp set. And I use There Is a Light at the End of the Tunnel. Um, I use this Cuddlebug embossing folder. And some ribbon that was in my stash. And this is that card. Thought that turned out super cute as well. And they're really simple cards to make. Won't take you any time. I also used um, my corner rounder for that one. And this is the inside. So this will be an encouragement card. So I thought that one turned out very nicely. And for the next card, I used um, the two Martha Stewart butterfly punches, my Wink of Stella pen. This is the clear. This Fiskars border punch. Want to scrap bling and one of the pieces out of this La Petite set from Hobby Lobby. And this is the card that I cased. Now, if you remember on the original card, it actually had, I think, a watercolor image. I didn't have a stamped image that I really wanted to use for that. So I just used one of those pieces from that La Petite set. Thought that turned out cute. Make every second count. And the inside, I just finished with the um, same paper that I cut the butterflies out of. And that is where I used the Wink of Stella was on the butterflies. You can see the shimmer there. Okay. And... For the next card, I used um, this Deep Edge Punch and I used this Hero Arts stamp set and I used um, Deepest Sympathy. 
the uh, memory box prim poppy die and this uh, just is this just right flourishes okay what was I thinking okay this is flourishes and it's a very old set that I have. And here I use May the Love of Those Around You help you um, through the days ahead. So this is a sympathy card that I created. And that's that card. And in uh, casing this one, I again, I generally don't put sentiments on the front, but I had been looking for a sentiment and couldn't find what I was looking for until after I had laid all this stuff down. So when I tried this deepest sympathy, it just barely fit, but it was perfect. But next time I will actually um, cut the white panel a little bit wider to make sure that it fits. And this is ribbon that I had in my stash. This is the prim poppy dye, the deep edge punch here, and then this, the uh, sentiment on the inside. Those are cards that we really don't like to think about creating, but sometimes we just have to. And then for the last one, I basically used this punch. This is another Martha Stewart, and this is the doily lace punch. This was almost one of the first ones I purchased way back when. And... What I did here was this one. The original pen did a Christmas card using that punch, but I just wanted a regular card. And I also used, uh, went back to the Hero Arts stamp set and used just a note from that. Here's the punched paper here. This was a Prima Flower ribbon I had in my stash. And I have not added anything to the inside. I will probably put the brown paper there. So those are my cards that I created for this series. Again, thank you all so, so very much for following me on this journey. I really had a ball with this. I have a lot in my stash at this point, and I am so thankful that I did it because I have built my stash. So all I have to do is grab a card or a project when I need it. I have used several of the cards already, and um, if you remember the tea box that I created, I, I use that as well. So it has been very a very productive series for me. And I really appreciate all of your encouraging comments. Um, and if you didn't get a chance to comment, just coming by and viewing. I really appreciate that. So thank you all so very much again. And if you missed any of the series, I will have a link to the uh, playlist in the description box, as well as links to all of the crafters who participate, participated during the series. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I can't say thank you enough. I really appreciate it. Happy crafting, everyone. Hi, everyone. Really quickly, I failed to give a shout out to Anita, who is a Grand Designs here on YouTube. She did a video response to my series. Please, please, please be sure to check her out. She's an amazing crafter. Her link is in the description box. Happy crafting!